Mimi, and today I have another video for you guys. This month is Haitian Heritage Month. Shout out to my Haitians, Saka Fet, Saka And this month is very prideful for me. I was born in Haiti, you know, I love the culture. So today I'm going to make Bla Majit. Stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Alright guys, now let me run down with our ingredients. So here, I have two cups of sour cream. Any sour cream of your choice is fine. And here I have two cups of fruit cocktail mix, the one that comes in the can. Make sure you drain out the syrup and you just want to use the fruit. Here I have maraschino cherries. I use 10 cherries and I cut it in, cut it in half. Here I have half a tablespoon of lime juice. You're going to need fresh lime juice. One 14 ounce can of condensed milk. I'm gonna use a teaspoon of almond extract or essence blanc. And last but not least, rum bamonco. I'm going to use a quarter cup of this. You can also use the original rum bamonco, the darker one but I find that it tastes better with the white one. All right, so let's get started. All right guys, so first I'm gonna start off with adding my sour cream. You're going to need a big bowl to mix everything in. And I'm gonna open my can of sweetened condensed milk and pour that in. Make sure you get every bit out of there. Now I'm going to mix in the sour cream with the condensed milk. Now that my sweet condensed milk is mixed in with my sour cream, I'm going to switch over to my wooden spoon um, to start with the next step. Alright guys, now I'm going to add my essence or your almond extract, a teaspoon of this. It's gonna be delicious. It adds a great flavor. And I'm going to add my quarter cup of my warm mama cool. Mm, it smells good. You can smell the sugar cane. And then you wanna go ahead and start stirring pretty fast. Okay. Now I'm going to add my fruit cocktail and my maraschino cherries. There's a little juice, that's perfectly fine. I actually prefer a little bit of maraschino cherry juice. Now as you guys can see, it's a little runny, right? This is where the lime juice come in. Now, while adding the lime juice, you want to make sure that you are stirring very, very fast while adding the, the lime juice because you don't want it to spoil it or have it like breaking. You want it to be well incorporated in. So start stirring and then add in your lime juice. And your lime juice is going to act as your thickening agent. Look, it's already thicker. but you want to work fast with it. All right, guys. And it's done. Now, I would recommend putting it in the fridge and letting it set for about an hour or two. So that's what I'm gonna do. And when it's done, I'm gonna show you guys the final product. Alright guys, so here is my final product. This looks amazing. It's set very nicely. This is a perfect recipe for a party, a get together, or just to eat it. You know, just a little dessert. So, I am going to dig in. And I'll catch you next time on Cooking With Mimi. But before I go, please, 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 
subscribe, 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 like, click that bell, and leave me a comment down below. Thank you for watching Cook It With Mimi. Take care, guys.